actually you know started uh, uh, imagining the objects imagining the things so in the pre operational stage what happens is today we'll be discussing about pigist uh, stages of development now pigist stages of development act as a very important part in psychology why because uh, pigist has conducted this research and based on the research he came to a solution that how the ultimate development happens within a child and how come you know from the very initial stage that is the infant age up to adulthood how come the process of development thinking process and the movement and you know how to recognize the world from their point of view and these uh, symbols how how the symbol generation object appearances object permanences how come all these thing happens so pigit has uh, came up with four stages of development let's talk about it now if you see the first stage is talking about what sensory motor stage now what is sensory motor stage now as you see the age for sensory motor stage is 0 to 2 years that means we can say that this is from where the infant starts observing the motor movement now what is motor movement for example the characteristics are motor activity without use of symbols that means from here onwards the infant starts using hands the gestures and actually perceives objects so here you see that infant is very new to the world the world is new to the infant so object appearance capturing from the eye happens from here now the next stage is pre operational stage what is pre operational stage now the pre operational stage if you find the age is from 2 to 7 years that means now the child or the infant has started learning how to use hand movements how or how to you know relate the object that the infant is perceiving for example uh, if the infant has seen this is a chair or this is a table so what will the infant do will try to touch it will try to understand that what kind of image is this so from here when the image has been generated in the eyes or in the mind of the infant in the next stage that is the pre operational stage the development process happens now this development process happens as in what here you will find development of language development of memory and imagination that means now when the infant has actually you know started uh, uh, imagining the objects imagining the things so in the pre operational stage what happens is that now the imagination purpose starts working now what is that imagination purpose for example uh, the objects that child has interacted here is the object now the child will perceive in the pre operational state now this per, you know perceiving of this object that means now the child will imagine now the child will uh, now the, the object will be no more new to the child why because uh, in the infant stage the child was uh, using those ha you know hand and leg movement was trying to learn what it is so now in this stage what happening is what is happening is that development of language is happening now the you know language communication will begin the memory uh, retention that means uh, you know saw certain object will understand will will be there in the memory then imagination that means will uh, start even imagining you know how to use that object how to uh, make that object work etc so that is the pre operational stage now whatever i am telling you is just a brief uh, thing how you know the development process is happening however in classes we uh, you know go on to depth analysis that means what makes this to happen how come this happens at the age of 2 uh, to uh, you know 7 years old then uh, how come the memory development happens that means uh, if the memory development was not there then definitely the process would not have occurred so how come the memory development has happening how come the imagination is taking place etc 
Now next coming to the concrete operational stage. So here you find that the child is 7 to 11 years old and the characteristic of this stage comes with more logical and methodolo uh, methodological manipulation of symbols. Now what is happening is that uh, see when the child is 2 to 7 year old the child will not understand that uh, if the beaker is wide let me tell you how if this beaker is wide it might hold the same volume of water which this beaker is holding are you understanding what I am trying to say that means here is a law that is working and that is conservation law right so what is that for example the beaker here that we are using is white but the beaker you are using here is having length right so both the beaker might be hold, not might but they are definitely holding the same amount of water but the child won't able to understand the conservation law right but when uh, the child reaches to this concrete operational stage that is 7 to 11 years what is happening is that uh, the child is now trying to be logical trying to interpret things through thinking right so what is happening is that at this stage the child was not able to understand this but when it comes to this stage that is concrete operational stage what is happening is that the child is now able to understand the conservation that means this was the wider one this was this is a longer one so both are holding the same capacity of water so this is happening in the concrete operational stage as the name itself suggests concrete that means now the child is able to have concrete thinking Okay. Next is the formal operational stage. Now this operational stage is 12 years and up and the characteristics of uh, this operational stage is use of symbols to relate to abstract concepts. Now here I talked about what concrete thinking and if you see here in the formal operational stage they are talking about what abstract thinking. Now what is abstract thinking? For example, uh, you know all those uh, of you are using Instagram and all, um, you know there was uh, this thing that was regulating that had been you know women there in the top position so uh, wars have been fewer. Now this cannot uh, be 100% true, why because uh, uh, there are different different logics to it you cannot uh, arrive to a conclusion by simply you know viewing certain things so what happens here is that even though abstract thinking is there but 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 the child here is not able to distinguish between what uh, you know there is a gray area which is beyond black and white So what is happening here is that even though certain abstract thinking is possible that means uh, a kind of uh, the own thought process begins, own thought process begins but saying that the child has you know got this thinking process developed is not real why because here the child is still not able to get into the grey areas because for the child it is like everything can be dwelt from logics that means either black or white. So uh, this was uh, just a general viewpoint of uh, Piggott's theory of uh, development. Um, there is much more to this theory but this was just a brief description about Piggott's theory of development. So thank you so much.